Welcome to PP18, the plenipotentiary conference of ITU in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Lilia Kol, who is Deputy Minister for the Ministry of Information, Technology, Communications and Postal Services for South Sudan. Minister, Deputy Minister, welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about uh, the fact that there's considerable attention being placed at the moment on harnessing the power of information and communication technologies, ICTs, as an enabler for good, uh, for development, for the benefit of people, families, communities and nations. And I wanted to ask you, what's your pers personal perspective on this? Uh, first of all, I'm a user of ICT. And I know how ICT is now very important in every aspect of, of, of our lives. So as, as a user myself, as a consumer, I want things easy. I want that facilitation. And so it, it's very important that um, technology is not only is it part of our lives, but that uh, we enable it to, to be part of, 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 of our daily, uh, everyday, day-to-day -day activities, what we want to do. Today the world is connected. We are talking about being um, a small village, you know, and, and thanks to technology. So there's no way that um, in this era and time uh, we can talk about lack of technology or, or a group of people or a group, group of countries that are left behind without being connected. So it makes it more important for me being in, the, in this docket that I want to see to it that uh, what, what, what I see as, as comfort that everybody has has the same access now in terms of access uh, about half the world's people are connected to the internet the other half isn't what is your country doing to get everyone connected uh, my country is doing a lot uh, most importantly uh, we are establishing the infrastructure uh, as you know the history of south sudan we are the newest nation in the world and uh, we have a lot that we are doing there are a lot of uh, competing priorities and 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 the same is also true for in, in the uh, technology and, and communications uh, sector so now as a country we want um, to establish the fiber optics connections and uh, we are looking into the best way and the quickest way to do that and the best way to do that is to take fiber optics from our neighboring countries now uh, we would start a project in a month or two where we'll extend the fiber optics with uh, our sisterly country of Uganda from the borders. Uh, I just finished uh, a very good meeting with the Minister of uh, Telecommunications of Sudan, also another um, neighboring country, and uh, we would also be able to extend uh, fiber optics from there. So there are a lot of projects that um, are in the pipeline, but most impor importantly, what fiber optics will bring, it will make the price of, of, of communication go down and I think this will be a very good beginning for us um, as a country today. Talking about uh, affordability, accessibility, the, this plenipotentiary conference is the first since the world agreed on the sustainable development goals. I'd like to ask you perhaps we could pr provide some examples of how ICTs are helping to drive the sustainable development in your country. You know, what is good about South Sudan is that, as I said, we are a new country. So we are starting afresh in all the other sectors, not, not uh, telecommunications alone. So we have the opportunity to make um, telecommunications and, and technology part, uh, a very integral part of all the developmental projects um, that uh, we are undertaking in, in the country. Uh, when we developed our, our vision and when we developed our plan, our development, plan agenda, uh, ICT was, uh, the importance of ICT was seen and captured, and ICT became cross-cutting across all the borders. So hopefully now when we are establishing um, education systems in South Sudan, ICT is going to be part of that. Uh, when we are talking about health, ICT will be part of that. When I talk about food security, agriculture, ICT is going to be part of that. So I think we are in a better position to, to start right and to also start implementing um, the SDGs in a very uh, sustainable and, and productive way to our people. That's wonderful and very encouraging. Finally, is there a message that you'd like to convey to participants here at ITU uh, PP18 and also to our wider audience? Uh, the message is always, uh, we, as the newest country and, and, and the newest uh, member state to the ITU, uh, we have a lot to do uh, because as a country we, we need to sprint to be where the other countries are now and we need a lot of help in, in this area. And I know uh, ITU has always been helpful uh, because we also fall into the category of the least developed uh, countries. So we would, we would hope 
to see um, this help in terms of opportunities, in terms of services, in terms of training. Uh, we want uh, to see it um, uh, doubled or increased um, so that we are able to be where the world is. Because it is now a collective responsibility, we are saying. Um, some parts cannot be connected and others are left out. So we want um, all the countries also that are members of the ITU that are able uh, to give us uh, that opportunity to be where they are today. And we are ready, we are ready to learn from them. Well, you uh, talked about a global village. Let's hope that that sprint is just around the corner. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you for the opportunity. It was a real pleasure. Thank you. And we look forward to catching up with you again in the future. Hopefully so. Thank you.